Alright guys, welcome back to my third Xmage tutorial video. In our last video we went over the deck editor and how to create a deck, how to import a deck from the internet. And in this video we're going to show you how to connect to a local server and play a game against the AI. And in that we'll go over just kind of like how to play the game in general. Alright, first I'm going to get rid of these decks that I downloaded off the internet. I'm going to start Xmage. All right, you got over here, we're all good. So now you have all these options here. Okay, launch client, you're gonna do this if you're gonna connect to a web server, okay? But if we're gonna connect to a local server, which means that we're gonna be running a server on our system and then connect to ourselves, we have to launch the client and the server. Okay. Just give it a second to start up. All right, you'll be greeted with this screen. We had you cancel out of this last time, but now we are going to um, connect to something, specifically the local host. All right, so here's the box. Here's the server. This is the server name. Uh, you can click find. Uh, I'm not sure. It shows a list of the public servers. Okay. Uh, here's the port number. Don't worry about that. You can fast connect to the German, the uh, United States, or the local server using these three buttons here. You have the spot to put your username your password if the server requires you to um, register. Um, here's the user flag. I'm going to put United States. Uh, this just, when you're in the lobby, um, this little icon will show up next to your name just so people know where you're from. Um, here we go. Fast search your flag. Automatically connect to the server next time. Just save these settings. So if you just find yourself constantly logging onto the, the USA or the German server and just want all the settings the same, just cho uh, choose that. Um, force update of card database. Um, yeah, I'm not so sure what that is. Proxy settings. Probably don't need to worry about that. Um, I'm just going to click this for the local host and hit connect. Oh, we got to have a username. All right. Perfect. Let's connect. All right, great. So now up here, now it says that we're connected. It says my username and then where we're connected to. I'm connected to the local host, which is your own machine at port 17171. Okay, um, just a quick thing down here, this green Xmage server icon, you have the launcher. You have the server console, and you have the client console. So um, when you're playing the game, things will pop up here under the client console. You can see at the very the very last thing is this logged in um, as philo.jh to mage server localhost. And then here you have the server console. Um, the only thing, the only reason I'm bringing this up is um, right here. You see this line? It says started mage server listening. If you try to connect to the local server before uh, this says listening, it won't connect right away. So you just have to make sure that the server is up and running and ready to listen um, until you connect to it. All right, great. So here's your home screen. Um, it's called the tables. So, you know, when you walk in your local game store and you're walking around to see, you know, where you can play at, um, you're looking for a table to sit at. And that's what this screen is. Um, up here, you have a way to start a new match or a new tournament. Basically, this is 1v1 or this is multiplayer. Okay? If you want to play a um, tournament with more than just you know 1v1, you're going to have to select the tournament, otherwise the match. Okay, up here, you have some filter options. Okay? All tables that are waiting for players, so tables that are not full. Um, you can show the tables that have matches that are currently being played. Um, I think you can spectate, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, so you just have plenty of toggle options. Just check these out here. Okay, um, you also by formats. But since we're going to play a game against the AI, let's start a new match. Great. So you have to name the game. Okay, um, I'm just going to leave this as is for right now, but if I was going to make a tournament that I wanted my friends to find, I would give it a better name so that when they're looking for my table, it's just more apparent. The time limit. This time limit is per player. So it's not a 25-minute game. It's that each player has 25 minutes of time to play per game. So 
if Steve is taking 25 minutes you know, if he's taking 20 minutes to take his turns, um, I'm going to have more time to take my turns later. So, but if you go over the 25 minutes per uh, in a single game, uh, you will forfeit that match. You can change this by upping or, or downing it. I think 25 minutes is perfectly fair. You can provide a password. So, um, this is just a local game against the AI, so this is unnecessary. But if you were to make a game... Um, online that you want your friends to join to, you might want to put a password so that you don't get randoms in there. Okay, um, You can save some match configuration um, and store it as number one and number two and just preload the values by clicking on those buttons. Uh, deck type. Okay, so this is super important and this is going to dictate um, the parameters of the game. I am just going to do a uh, a standard. So we're gonna it's going to be a one v mat one v one match <clears throat> against the AI using standard uh, as a format. Okay. So those are all your constructed formats. If you choose standard, right? But then you try to load a deck that is not standard legal, it will uh, it won't it won't let you play the game. So that's how you enforce. Uh, decks. Um, down here we have some variants. You can look up these uh, formats online and see what they're all about. Uh, limited, I believe you can do this, like say if you um, create a 40 card deck and you just want to kind of test it out, you can just choose limited even though you're not drafting. But okay, so we're just going to do the constructed standard. Uh, rated. Um, not really sure what rating the match will do. Um, allow quit percentage. Um, if you had a, if you were starting doing a game online, and you know, you wanted to allow people that quit games, you can change this value uh, to be more or less uh, lenient. Okay. Uh, EDH power levels another filter. So game type. This is going to be a two-player duel, a 1v1 match, but you have other options. You can do free-for-all, so you can do, um, if this were a tournament or a, uh, um, wait, okay, yes. So a new match, you could do a new match, so never mind, new match can be multiplayer, it's just not tournament style, but if free-for-all, um, you can increase the players and just have a, a free-for-all match going on. Okay, um, there's some other parameters when you have free-for-all range of influence, like if you only want to be able to attack your immediate neighbor, uh, you just hit one, two, you would be able to hit, um, attack people that are two spots down the table away from you. Um, but anyways, just check out all the formats. you got Commander, um, Brawl, but we're just going to do the two-player duel, which is the standard 1v1. Okay, allow rollbacks. Uh, if you do this, if both players agree, you can start the turnover, say if you had a bad misclick or just some really bad misplay. Uh, free mulligans. I like to put one mulligan in there, um, you know, when I'm not playing standard, like if I'm just cube drafting with my friends. I like one free mulligan. Uh, allow spectators. So if you have your game going um, and, you know, you're on the internet on a public server and people can see they can join in and just look at you uh, you can use plane chase variant um, all right so we're doing two players these options are grayed out because it's a two-player duel so you don't have any options with that skill level um, this doesn't have any effect on the game it just has an effect on when you're viewing the tables um, it'll just give a rating like say you wanted to join a public game and it was casual, or if it was serious, and you like, oh, I'm just a casual player. Maybe you don't want to join a serious game because you know you're going to get stomped. At the same time, if you're a better player, you don't, you probably don't want to join a beginner level. Um, I'm just going to leave it at casual because it doesn't matter. Uh, wins. This is how many wins it's going to take to um, to win the entire match. Two is the standard. Okay. Now down here, player one. This is me, the creator of the game. I already have my name in here because that's how I signed on to the server. Uh, then the deck. You can generate a deck or you can load a deck using this little dot 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 button. Okay. 
And I stored all my decks under my Xmage data folder, which I kept in C users Jacob, and double click the decks, my standard decks. I want to play the Golgari mid range deck. So I'm going to select that deck, and it has um, accepted it. If I were to have maybe put a vintage or a modern deck in here, even though this is um, a standard game, uh, it would have said you can't use that deck. All right. Now down here, player two, you can do human um, if you want a friend to join. Otherwise, you have two computer. You have draft bot and then you have mad. If you were doing a draft, say like a cube draft or something, and you just wanted, say you only have four people playing, but you want eight people drafting, you can have four human players and then add four draft bots so that the bots will draft with you so that you're drafting a larger card pool, but then they will drop after the draft and then just the four human players will play after. The second computer, um, MAD, I don't know why they chose to call it that, but that is the AI uh, um, opponent that we are going to be playing. You can give it a name, I'm just going to leave it at computer. Uh, you can change the skill level. I don't know how big of an effect this really has, but I'm just going to put it at the top because you know what? It's not very good to begin with in the first place, so let's just put it up at 10. All right, I'm going to choose a deck for this. I'm going to do the Selesnya Tokens deck. Uh, we showed you how to import decks uh, off of MTG Goldfish in the previous video, and I just did another one. We did the Golgari mid-range on that video, and I just did another one for Selesnya Tokens, which was the next most popular deck. Great. So we have a deck for them. We have a deck for us. All our settings are appropriate. Let's just hit OK. All right. Now you get this window right here, waiting for players. Um, see, now our game popped up at an open table up here. Um, it's got a little flag that we chose and our name. We have a rating. Um, and we have the computer. So everyone's in. We're good. Uh, if I wanted to be second player, I could just move down, move up doesn't really matter too much. We're just going to start the game. Your game has started. 